The Choir Boys are an English hard rock band formed in 1984 in London, with strong ties to Newcastle. When the band formed they were originally known as the Choir Boys and later as the London Choir Boys in the United States, settling at last with their current name. The band was successful during the late 1980s and early 1990s, with their debut album A Bit of What You Fancy reaching number two on the UK charts. Their highest charting single was with the song Hey You. In 1993, the Choir Boys broke up but briefly reformed Live in 1995 with different members. A more permanent reformation came in 2001 when frontman Spike, guitarist Guy Griffin and bassist Nigel Mogg put together a new lineup. The band is still active, recording new material and playing live. History Vocalist Jonathan Gray moved from Newcastle upon Tyne to London when he was 17 years old. Spike met guitarist Guy Bailey in a bar, through his older sister Julie, the two moved in together as flatmates, but did not even discuss playing music until a year later when a friend brought a guitar round and they began playing Chuck Berry songs. By the mid-1980s the two decided to form a rock and roll band, the name chosen for the group was originally the Choir Boys taken from the 1977 movie of the same name, but they soon changed it to the Choir Boys. Gray and Bailey were joined by bassist Nigel Mogg, Chris Johnston on piano and Paul Hornby, who had previously played drums with the Dogs Dammer and with Pete Burns in the Liverpool group Nightmares in Wax. The Choir Boys started to build up a following, playing at the Marquee Club. The band's drummer Paul Hornby soon left to join Dogs Dammer, which contained future friends of the Choir Boys, he was replaced by Nick Connell. Connell, Bailey, Johnston and Mark Sweetmore were old friends, having grown up together and attended Allen's School in Stone, Staffordshire in the 1970s. On March 28, 1986 the Choir Boys appeared with Bernie Torm and the Moho Pack at what was club foot at the Clarendon Hotel Hammersmith. In May of that year, he played support dates on a Cherry B.O.M.B.Z. tour. By 1987 the band's controversial name was starting to hinder them, it caused some of the gigs on their tour with Andy McCoy's band to be cancelled. They were also booked to play Reading Festival on the understanding that they would change their name. Thus they changed it to the Choir Boys and have kept the name ever since. They released two singles via Survival Records, entitled Mayfair, and There She Goes Again. Another musician from Newcastle was brought in on rhythm guitar, and Ginger made his performing debut at the Hammersmith Odeon where the band was supporting Guns N' Roses. At the end of 1989, the band released the single Seven O'Clock, which entered the top 40 of the UK singles chart. Sharon Osbourne was appointed as manager and the Choir Boys were signed to Emmy for the release of their debut album, A Bit of What You Fancy. By 1990, the Choir Boys had fired Ginger who they replaced with former Cradle Snatchers slash feline groove guitarist Guy Griffin. For the debut album Cozy was substituted by Ian Wallace who played with Bob Dylan. The debut album was produced by a school friend of the band's Andrew Witham and entered the UK album's chart at number two. A bit of what you fancy drew positive reviews and was compared favorably to British rock names such as Rod Stewart and The Faces. The album was produced by Stewart's musical director and guitarist Jim Cregan. In support of the debut, the Choir Boys toured for the next year. He played with a variety of bands in different settings in the United States, including LA Guns, Sanjadan, The Cramps and Iggy Pop. After the tour, they also played some gigs in the United Kingdom. In Spike's hometown of Newcastle where they supported the Rolling Stones at St. James Park. Two months after the Stones show, he played in front of 72,000 people at Monsters of Rock at Donington with Witty Snake, Aerosmith, Poison and Thunder. The long touring schedule was finished off with a gig in Japan at the Tokyo Dome on New Year's Eve in front of 50,000 people. A live album was released following this long touring, entitled Recorded Around the World. With a new drummer, Rudy Richman, they began working on the follow-up, Bittersweet and Twisted which was released in 1993. But the birth of grunge changed the music scene and they were left behind. AXL Rose asked them to join the Use Your Illusion tour with Guns N' Roses, and they followed the band for a while during their 1993 summer European tour. The band reformed for a number of concerts in the mid-1990s and found themselves with a loyal following. 
a new lineup recorded and released This Is Rock and Roll in 2001 and followed it with the moderately successful Well Oiled in 2004. On May 12, 2008, the Choir Boys released their next album Hamurekas and Heartbreakers on the Jerkin Crocus label. Talking about the inspiration for the new album, Paul Guerin said it's a funny story. We were in Malmö Paragraph, Sweden in the dressing room. It was just before the show and we'd had a few frothy quenches. We were trying to come up with album titles, and everyone was laughing at the suggestions. A certain member of the band was regaling a story about something he had done, and another member of the band said you're just a home wrecker, and someone else said yeah, and a heartbreaker. We were just having a laugh, and bang, there it was. It was as simple as that. In 2010, two members of the Choir Boys teamed up with Def Leppard singer Joe Elliott to record an album under the name Down NRs. Two singles were released, both of which are covers of Mott the Hupple songs, England Rocks, and Overnight Angels. Down NRs supported Paul Rogers on tour in April 2011. In March 2013, the Choir Boys played aboard the Monsters of Rock Cruise, along with brands such as Cinderella, Tesla, Kicks, and Queen's Reche. The band released a new single Too Much of a Good Thing on May 15, 2013, taken from their seventh studio album Beautiful Curse which was released a month later in June 2013. Members, Spike, vocals, Guy Griffin, guitar, Paul Guerin, guitar, Keith Weir, keyboards. Equals former members equals, Nigel Mogg, bass, Guy Bailey, guitar, Chris Johnston, bass, piano, Damon Williams, bass, Paul Hornby, drums, Nick Cozy Connell, drums, Ginger, guitar, Rudy Richman, drums, Tim Buley, live bass, Simon Hansen, live studio drums, Luke Bossendorfer, guitar, Martin Henderson, drums, Kevin Savigar, keyboards, Mark Sweetmore, Lead guitar, Bill Coyne, drums, Jason Bonham, drums, Thomas Goldson, guitar, Peter Mitchell, guitar, Pip Melling, drums, Jimmy Crutchley, bass, Chris Corney, bass, Matt Goom, drums, Dave Boyce, bass, Dave McCluskey, drums, Colin Wilson, bass, John Frenet, bass and banjo, Nick Melling, bass, Phil Martini, drums. Discography equals albums equals equals live albums equals live lost in space 100% live choir boys live live in glasgow equals compilation albums equals from tooting to barking rock champions masters of rock the choir boys best of the choir boys equals singles equals equals videography equals a bit of what you fancy bitter sweet and live live at the mean fiddler References External links Official website, review of the Choir Boys for southsonic.co.uk HTTP, www.southsonic.co.uk slash index.php question mark option equal com underscore content ampersand task equal view ampersand id equal 2995 ampersand item at equal 68